Hi guys, welcome back to more episodes of The Walking Dead. With our last episode, is starting to bring things closer together between our two groups. Um, Andrea has found that the only place he is probably at his side, and he's made that abundantly clear with the jumping off the barricade incident and a tackling the with a walker head on but he's quite happy for it to be in his bed even though he's hiding all sorts of secrets and then we've got carol back i, I was onto that sort of <laughs> something just didn't add up um the issue we've got now is all of our alpha males have pretty much just headed for the camp thanks to michonne uh, to, to the um i don't even know what to call it what's it called i've forgotten anyway they've headed there and left kind of everyone who's behind not really in the best position to defend and merle is on his way after having the incident with glenn and maggie and him uh, him basically degrading her and then Mill took over. Of course, she was gonna she was gonna fold at some point, especially once a gun was put to Glenn's head. So she's told them where they are. They're heading there. They're both heading in the opposite directions, but our group are all ready, pretty much at the barricade. I don't know how this is gonna go. This could be a bloodbath. This could work out. But at the same time, they don't know Mill is headed in the opposite direction. Because he wants to find his brother and he's still out for revenge. He's made that abundantly clear. So, let's go find out what happens just before we do. If you're enjoying The Walking Dead and you haven't subscribed to the channel already, I would appreciate a quick subscribe. And we will carry on with episode 8 of season 3. Oh! Okay. Who are you? We've got more people. Oh. Okay, maybe he's not. I was just about to say. Oh. Oh, no, there's a load of them. A tower. Is that the prison tower? Cool. Oh, no, no. One of you has just got bit. Didn't know what to do. Ah, see, see. They're taking her with her. We don't know what's in there. We know what's out here. True. Yeah. And once we're in there, when she turns, <laughs> she's right. Then you have to do it. You can't do this. You want to drag her around? She's suffering. And when she finally turns, it's not ready. It's a mistake. Oh, Maybe. yeah. It probably is. It's a predicament. It's a predicament that each set of survivors we come across, however many we meet, have. At what point are they at? How many people are there? How many have they lost? What? precisely have they gone through have they gone through anything near what our group of survivors have been through do they know exactly the score as to well the details you know the fact that if you bit you've got to put them down the fact that even if you're not bit and you die you're coming back and what point do they sacrifice a loved one before they turn because there's two different objectives going on here between him and her clearly already he wants to leave her behind she doesn't where are they oh a block they're in the back way of the prison there's a back way in oh frack i did not know there was another way into the prison in the back and i don't think they know either all these people you brought together, they're here for more than just protection. They're helping each other through this mess. Boy, Bray's starting to grow on you. Huh. Starting to grow on you. Good. <sighs> hey, hey, hey. Loss makes people do weird things. One's, one's a positive, one's a negative. They both make people do really, really stupid things and make bad choices. Dude, what is the point? Did he 
No. No. No, it was the threat. He barely touched me. No, it was the threat. It was enough. You forget what people do. I've always done. Yeah, people are worse, I'm afraid. At least you know what to get. Look at what they did to you. With them. Oh. <laughs> Yes, he is. Phoebe. I need to downsize. Ain't, ain't no way we're gonna check in all them buildings. Got all them guards there. Too many. You think it'll taking it over? Moving Woodbury there? People love it here because it feels like what was. That doesn't. Move them to damn cells surrounded by barbed wire. Let the biters move back in. No one will be the wiser. And why? Because they're a threat. Brothers with them. We should talk to him. Make him our inside man. But you said there was a curfew. The street is packed during the day. Those are stragglers. You said you could help us. I'm doing what I can. Then when the hell are they? You think she's leading us into a trap? Right now it's a blind leading a blind. Yeah, they're not entirely no. sure. I saw you moving from outside. What? Shut up, get on your knees. Hands behind your back. Zip time. How old are you anyway? 17. Too young for you. Interesting. Way too young. May I speak with you? Yeah. What's the problem? Stay away from her. Yeah. Please. This is about you trying to repopulate the earth. I didn't mean no offense, but mm. I mean, Maggie, she's with Glenn, and you were a lesbian, and I was just talking with her. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> You're a lesbian. No, what? <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. He... Okay, I, I I understand with what Carol looks like, and of course because we're in the situation when really she's wearing what she's wearing, and the fact that she has short hair, he's just gone. She's lesbian. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> let's just carry on. <laughs> you got the short hair. hair. So you're not a lesbian. No. I like the compare bit of humor in this. Shit. Okay, that's you done. Oh, 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 shit, shit. Shit going on and chaos. Element of surprise and, and chaos is your friend, right now. Okay. Arse. Give me a gun! Glad we could catch up. Kill these two off before our guys get to him. I will be pissed. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. That, that was relatively easy. I don't know, I don't think I'm going to get out. Shit, now they're on. I don't know. I think. We need to keep everyone safe, okay? So just get inside, keep your lights off. Come on. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. No and Andrea... Make hands, you find it. How bad are you hurt? Nah, it will be all right. Maybe she was spy. Can we go look for her? No. We got to get him out of here. She's on her own. He threw a walker at me. He's going to execute us. My brother's his governor? No, uh, he's somebody no. else. Your brother's his lieutenant or something. Yeah. You know I'm still with you? He does now. We have to get back. Can you walk? We got a car a few miles out. Maybe I can talk to a man and work no, something no, no, out. No, you're not thinking straight. I, no, you know. I don't know what they say they heard. Glenn can barely walk. How are we going to make it out? 
You've got to go now. My walkers, so this governor catches up to us. I need you. Y your brother's on the opposing side right what? now. What exactly is you might be here? able to sort it out with him, but not with this guy here. Then what are we doing, waiting around here? Suck a stake through his neck. We need patrols now. Can't take chances with these terrorists. It could be holding someone captive or worse. Can't anyone else handle that? I've got a hell of a lot of experience that... Thank you. <laughs> Rest you split up. Merle will lead the... Do you see what I mean? It's... Yeah, thank you. You, you just run along now. That, he doesn't take her seriously. Andrew needs to know the score here and who these people are. He's got to come out. He has to. And then she has got a really fucking difficult choice to make. I mean, she should make the obvious correct one, but I'm not entirely certain that the way this guy has badgered and, and, and broken her... He's broken her defences down, and not just by sleeping with her, just, just the way his demeanour and the way he's, he talks and the way he's explained things to her, he's made her feel comfortable and safe here, and Andrea hasn't had that for a long time. The rest of them have been held up at the prison for a while, and they've been together. She was, her and Michonne were on her own, and then when Michonne left, they, this felt the safest place to her, so I don't know. I'm starting to get the feeling she's looking for some payback. Some, <coughs> she's looking for some payback here. Yeah, she is. She ain't leaving. Oh my god, please don't let us lose anyone else. Okay, okay. Look, look who it is. Come on. She's shooting anyway. You saw a shadow. To shoot out. Don't matter. There's gonna be more of them. We need to move. Need a grenade. Uh, Get them ready. We gotta go into the wall. Shit, that's out. What? No, 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 Rick. No, that's not possible. It wasn't, it wasn't, Jay. It wasn't. You got hit here. Oh, he's got his pistol. Sorry, I thought he had a shot, but he's got the silence on it, honey. Yeah, you got somebody who knows what he's doing here, believe it or not. Come on! She can't come in. Look out! She can't come in. Well, this is gonna be a bit of a conundrum. Because if they if Carl's gonna bring them in, there's no way they're gonna let her in. This is how you get re your revenge on him. And find out what a fucking twisted Bastard he is. There it is. Oh no, 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 no. Be careful because it's not what you think it is. Oh my god, she doesn't realise. Oh, that's a mistake. She's gonna do it. Me, you won, huh? Uh huh. What do you think that is? She doesn't have needs. No. Don't hurt my little girl. Oh, this this will finish him. <laughs> oh my God! I said she was gonna do that. My God! Damn. Please do us all a favour. Do the same. Oh, hell. Jesus. No. Grab that shard of glass. Yes, yes. Oh, that's got to hurt like a son of a bitch. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is fucking insane. Ah. Well, shit. This shouldn't be. Okay, she's sufficiently scarred for life. I mean, he's still alive, but you have definitely lost that eye. Yeah, take a look around, Andrew. 
See what you've been sleeping with. God, he's broken. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked the dude is still conscious. She doesn't have that long. Who the hell are you? How did you get in here? Who are you with? Look, we can help you. First things first. She has to go. Take care, Carol. Keeping you at bay. Did you just lock us in here? Uh -huh. Open the door. This room is secure. You'll be safe. You have food and water. Hey! You can't just leave us in here. Don't. Open this door. No, you can't. Open it now, Sasha. Calm down. Back away from the door. Yeah. And let the man go. We got other things to do. I don't understand why this girl's just angry. We don't want any trouble. He's seeing it for what it is. He's Glass learning so fast. Damage. That, that is it. why I said, I think I mentioned it in the last episode or maybe the one before. You know, Carl's learning at such a pace as to what this new world entails. What you can do, what you can't do, what you can foresee and not, and what how you have to take care of your own, how you have to not take any chances whatsoever. You know, being a kid is all about being free and no responsibility and not caring about anything. You know, the, the only thing you need to worry about is to make sure that you go to school and that you, you know, you make friends and you have fun and there's food in your belly and a roof over your head. But that world's gone for him. And he he's stepping up to the mark so fast and understanding straight away. He was like, yes, we can help you. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to put you somewhere where I can keep my eye on you until I figure out what we're going to do with you, which is precisely what Rick would do. And that group have obviously lost someone, but the big black, big black guy's like, hey, this is the best we've had for a while. Let's just regroup for a minute here. But this is what I was saying about Carl. I hope it doesn't make him cold and harsh at the wrong juncture, at the wrong moments. That was stern and tough, but fair. I hope he doesn't go down the the darker side of that route as the hormones kick in, as he gets a bit older, 15, 16, 17, if he gets to that age, is it going to change him? She came back to kill me. Why? You tell me. No, you tell her. You knew her. She's Why here. The hell were you? Taking care of someone. Up. Turn around. Turn around. I don't trust her now because she vanished. Where do you go? You what you came for? Where are the rest of your people? Thank God, Oscar. Daryl's missing you. Need to see him. If anything happens to him, I want you here to save them, to get them back to the prison, or. To go back in there for Daryl, either way. You need me. Hasn't been a night like this since the walls were completed. I should tell you that we'll be okay. <laughs> that we're safe. It's right out of the playbook. Oops. I'm afraid of terrorists who want what we have. Terrorists? <laughs> Merle! Man! Oh, he's throwing him into the all. fucking boss. Man, I trust. Of course. I he led him why. here. This. Thought he was your lieutenant. One of the terrorists. Merle's own brother. With the rest what do we do with them, huh? Kill him! Burn him at the stake! <laughs> you wanted your brother. There he is. There you got him. Smile Damn. All right, guys. I, 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 I have got to say, best episode of the season so far. I, I can't even recall everything that happened because there was so much. That went by so quickly. That was like 45 minutes. It felt like 15. Um, and things have moved on substantially. So we've got a new group of people who were in the prison who found a way back a back way in, sorry. Carl has done the sensible adult grown-up thing that his father would do, which I've already discussed. 
so we've got that to look forward to yet and who these people are. Um, I'm kind of liking the black guy. He, he seems to have his head screwed on as to what the score is. Obviously, he's probably the leader of their group with being the biggest guy. I'm sorry, but the, the way this world works, we're not, we're not in our world here now where it's, you know, equal rights and, and all that shit's gone. Yet yeah, you need alpha males. I'm sorry, but you do. Anyway, I digress. What I'm saying is, um, so we've got that group to be introduced to properly, but we've not really had much yet other than they've already lost one of their own and they've, they've just been keeping at arm's length for the time being. So that that's on hiatus and on hold for probably the next episode or two. But this whole thing with the governor, I mean... <sighs> I was wondering how it was going to play out. Most of our group have gotten out. Our convict guy didn't make it, but Michonne's made it, Rick's made it, Glenn's made it, and so has Maggie. After Michonne's <laughs> stubbornness in going back for them to help rescue their friends, but she had a primary goal that wasn't really her main reason for coming here she was ready to just face the governor then she comes across his door nearly gets bit by her and just i had a feeling she'd do it she will not hesitate she just went whoop, and it just went straight through um that was a weakness of his that you could have exploited more than what you did but you chose to handle it the way that you handled it it's too late now didn't get to finish it off I hadn't noticed that Daryl hadn't rejoined with the group. And then he pulls the exact speech I knew he would pull to them. That, oh, woe is us and woe is me and none of this was my fault. And we're just here trying to get along and keep ourselves protected. And this big bad group come along and have attacked us. And one of them in our midst is a traitor and it's Mill. <laughs> Oh, and while you're at it, here's your brother. You want to find him? There you go. <laughs> how are the how, how them two going to get out of that? <sighs> better not kill them off. You better not kill them off. I'm getting used to a lot of the main characters we've got here now, and they all seem to be primary characters. I'm hoping we don't lose any more for a good substantial while. It's got to happen at some point. It's not going to be realistic. I understand that. But, um, he's just rallied the troops there. And I don't know what's going to happen between the two brothers. So we've got that. And then we've also got Andrea, who thinks she's seen everything there is to see with this group attacking. She never actually got to see any of the people that she knows. She just saw the black guy, the convict, who's now dead. And she seems to be not perfectly okay with it because it's not like she's losing it or, or freaking out just questioning what was with all the trophies and your daughter and all that lot. I mean she was there to tend to him because he basically got fucking glass shoved right in his eyeball I thought that might be the end of him it wasn't it's not enough to kill you um how the guy stayed conscious I don't know possibly just the adrenaline keeping him going but she knows her place, or she's been shown what her place is, and yet still, she's there. She's she's not she's not questioning enough to run. She thinks she's still safer here, even with this psychopath. Interesting. What I really want to know more than anything is what's going to happen between the two brothers next. Meanwhile, the rest of our group are going to try and head back to the prison. Michonne wants no, Michonne's ask, asking to tag along. And then when they're going to get back, they're going to have another situation to deal with. Glenn's going to take a while to recover. Um, There's a lot going on. There is a lot going on. There was a lot of action in that. I really enjoyed it. Right. Uh, I'm sure you know by now we do two episodes a week, one on YouTube. If you do want to watch these in full length, you can over on Patreon. The link will be in the description as always. And if you want to make sure you don't miss any more episodes of Walking Dead, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Get the notifications turned on. That way you will know when the next episode releases. I will be back with the next one very shortly. Until then, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Putting up with me pausing it. God knows how many times that episode. Because... I was so excited. <laughs> this show's brilliant.
this show is, it, it's got me jumping about and sweating and I'll see you for the next one. Take care. Don't.